Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Amy Bowser Tennant, and this is a video dedicated to those of you who would like to begin blogging your family history. Recently, I gave a lecture titled Tech Savvy Journaling and Scrapbooking for Genealogists. And in that class, I shared with everyone how I enjoy um, participating in blogging my family history. And so I shared a few steps on how to begin blogging. But then I had some additional questions come by phone and email and thought that this might be helpful in a video format. So I like to use um, Blogger, which is part of And so to begin, you're going to need to sign in. And you do that here. Um, I can sign out and then I can sign back in. Um, and so you'll create your own account. And then here in this grid, click here and choose Blogger. Now my blog is called My Kith and Kin. If I wanted to start a new blog, I would simply click on New Blog. Now this is really important. Your blog title is like the name of your book. It's not the name of a chapter. It's not the name of your of each of your posts. It's not the title of what you're going to write about today uh, or tomorrow or what have you. This is your overall blog title, which is different. Then you want to name your or rather, I should say, you want to make your title the same as your address. Because if your title is um, Family History Finds, or in my case, My Kith and Kin, you don't want to confuse your readers with a different title than the address, vice versa. So remember to um, name them the same. Then you can choose the different templates that you want and simply click Create Blog. Now I'm going to hit Cancel here because I've already done that and show you a few things. I've created my blog. It's called My Kith and Kin. So I'm going to click here and do so once you've start, started blogging. You're going to have an overview. Your overview is going to tell you a little bit about what's going on on your page. So uh, if I clicked here on more stats, which is what I enjoy um, taking a look at, I can see that today's page views were 41 views. Yesterday was 62. Views last month, 2,884. And then my all-time views here. This is my number of followers. I can also scroll down and find out which of my blog posts are enjoying. So if this says the week, which you can kind of tell that week is highlighted here, thoughts on writing tragic events has been the most popular. For the month, click there, also thoughts on writing tragic events has been the most um, viewed blog post at 1638. And then I can move into the all time and see that my how'd she do that using Facebook post has gotten the most views of any. Now my traffic sources, that's where people are learning about your blog. They're seeing it and then clicking on it. Generally speaking, Facebook. Facebook is what drives my blog. If I were to click here on more, I can see that it'll come up here. I'm just going to click on a month here. That 935 of my views came from M Facebook. That's mobile Facebook. Here's 193 from just uh, regular Facebook. Here are 76 that have come from Pinterest, so on and so forth. So uh, that's really helpful to understand where your traffic is coming from. Also, looks like we've got a uh, keyword of Amy Tennant. That was only one, so I'm not really interested in those. 
let's go back. Let me scroll up here to the top. That was in our overview section. Now, if I want to write a post, I would click here on create a new post or here post. So let's go ahead and click that. Okay, now this is the title of my blog, but this is the title of my post. A post is your article, what you're writing about today. So if I were writing about um, Edmund West of Clark County, Ohio, that might be my title. Then I would come down here and write whatever it is I want to write about Edmund. You can change this to a heading, subheadings, minor headings, normal. You can change the font to a larger font or a smaller font. Um, it works very similar to Word. Now, someone recently asked me about um, labeling something. So, for example, this is about the West family. If I added a label here and labeled it West family, then on my blog, if people were searching for information about the West family of Clark County, they would see that this article was about them. Notice some of my other um, labels include Bowser family, genealogy tools, Roots Tech, the Witt family, the Walls family. And so you can choose to do that if you wish. I did not start keeping labels until well into my second year of blogging. Not that I shouldn't have, but that's just the way it worked for me. Okay, let's assume that I was finished with my um, blog post here. I can preview here and take a look and see you know, what it's going to look like. So let's go back. I'm going to hit blogger here and go to a page, a post rather, that you could see. We want to do a little edit. So here we go. Let's check this one. Here's one I've already uh, published, but we're going to take a look at it. Following the wrong family line. Not a mistake after all. Okay. So I've put in some pictures. I've added some uh, text, some source citations. Looks like I have not put any labels on this one. Um, so maybe I might do that. I think I will put in here that this is part of the Cole family. Uh, so I'll just put done on that. And uh, kind of taking a look at it here, you notice some places in bold, some in it that have been italicized and so forth. Now, if I want to look at it before I publish, I click on preview. It takes me to view of my blog that is not yet published. See, it's the preview. So I can scroll down here and just kind of take a look at what what it looks like, especially formatting, really important. So, you know, I like the place, do I like the place of the picture there? Um, do I like where I've highlighted in um, bold? Do I like the way the paragraphs are put together? Do I want a space? Do I not want a space? And so this allows you to take a look at the format and the overall presentation of your post Prior to publishing, you just simply click out. And if you like what you see, you click publish or in this case, update. So again, um, a friend of mine had asked, you know, oh, I made a mistake on my blog post, but I already published it. No problem. If you have already published something and then you realize later there has been a mistake, maybe a spelling or grammar error, you can click on posts and choose the article that has the uh, typo or what have you. Click edit. Make the change wherever that might be. This was uh, incorrect and I wanted to make that a period. I would simply hit backspace period and then click publish or update. <laughs> Looks like this one was not ever published. Just a 
this one. Okay, so we'll make a change to this um, blog post and then click update. And from there on out, your blog post will have the corrected um, portions on there. Now, the next thing we want to take a look at, and this is our home page. I'm going to click again on my kick and pin. I keep going back and forth. I apologize for that. You can make more than one page. Okay, I'm going to show you my actual blog. Here it is. I have three pages, my home page, the about me page, and upcoming lectures page. You get those like this, right there, pages. By clicking there, you can create a new page. So for example, if you have, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Say you want to call this page the Cole family. All of your information or links to specific articles, or maybe you could even upload your um, PDF of your, I've lost my train of thought, um, pedigree, a pedigree chart, maybe a family group chart, something like that about the Cole family, um, a few Cole family pictures or what have you, and you can put that here, and that becomes then a separate page. So essentially, you could have one about your maternal line and your paternal line and your collateral lines and so forth. And that kind of gives a little organization to your blog. Okay, I'm going to close that out because I don't want it. I'm going to delete that. And there again, you can delete a page. Then periodically, you're going to need to update, like my update coming lectures um, page and so I can edit here make the changes um, this one is done already finished that lecture I'll just make these changes and my next one September excellent it's good let me give it a preview just to make sure that it's looking correct and it does I like how that looks so I'm going to click on update voila All right so that is just very very basic how to start um, blogging and a little bit about how to use blogger Hope hopefully this was helpful so give me a call or drop me an email if you have any further questions about how to begin blogging with Blogger for your family history.